Happy, mystical, magical full moon in Pisces. This is a super moon closest to Earth and bringing us the most magic of the year. Pisces is a mystic energy, intuitive, connected to the flow and the universal oneness, love, the ultimate connection to all. This is such a powerful energy because this moon is right next to Saturn and the light from the moon and the light from the sun is shining on Saturn right now, shining its light on the things that need to be done to take care of you, to take care, to create in the physical reality what you are mystically calling in. This is a weaving energy and I am feeling it as movement, dance, a somatic healing experience. I highly recommend that you meditate the next few days, tuning in to that intuitive flow and downloading the wisdom that your soul needs to feel connected to your highest vision. This is the dream weaving that we are doing here on earth. We're doing it together. We're doing it in harmony. And there are a lot of harmonious aspects happening for this full moon. We've got a beautiful trine, which is a flow that is the easiest connection between energies um, that we have in astrology. Mars in Libra is an air energy, but she, he just left Virgo and has moved into Libra. So it's just that earth air energy. And then Pluto, the same in earth energy had just left Aquarius and is retrograding back through Capricorn and Jupiter and Uranus is actually really close to Jupiter there in Taurus. So this earth energy shifting into air filled with all this beautiful water and Neptune is the culmination point for this energy. It's actually a kite in the sky and that Neptune is very much at home in Pisces. Neptune's ruled by Pisces. So this full moon might bring some new insights that you might think are from nowhere, from out of the blue on this blue moon. You might also be feeling like something was um, slipped past you or uh, misunderstood. These energies from Neptune can be a little confusing. So the best that we can do right now is stay grounded in our bodies. That's why I recommend the dancing and the movement, yoga, and walking, being in nature, connecting to the oneness around you. Saturn will help you with that. And so will the sun in Virgo. Virgo is a really healing energy and Virgo wants us to feel focused and in its really extreme out of balance energy, it can be controlling. So if you're starting to feel emotionally overwhelmed or really, really too focused, sit back and surrender to the energy. Let it go, let it flow and begin to call in your connection to your intuition and ground with meditation or movement. These archetypal energies are leading us to feel the magic that we weave together in community and in our lives. And, and one of the most helpful things that you can do is self-care. During this time, you felt might feel overstretched to wanting to help others, but you need to fill your cup first. You can only flow best with the universal flow when internally it's overflowing and not depleted from within. This is where Virgo helps us to focus on self-care. What do you need to do? Do you need to feed yourself better, drink more water, 
get out and go for a walk in nature, get to a dance, move your body, put on some music, whatever it is, food, routine, definitely allow the structure of earth to support you through this moon. I hope that you have a magical, beautiful time and enjoyed this video. I would like to invite you to the moon circle that's happening Wednesday night. We have a beautiful community of people who enjoy the ceremonial aspects of meeting at the new and full moon. And we do this over Zoom. So you bring your own candle, you light it in ceremony. We call in the seven directions. We talk more about astrology. I'll go into Venus and even more details. And then we meditate together and we embody the energy before we close the circle. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I wish you all the love. Blessings.